Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to discuss about TB scan, one of the very popular unsupervised machine learning algorithm widely used for clustering purpose. Okay, it stands for density based special clustering of application with noise. Okay, what is density in this particular context? What is noise? I am going to discuss in detail. Noise means simply outliers, right? Which uh, one particular data point which is kind of different with respect to other data points, right? And density means what? That is, we will consider one particular data point is falling under dense region if near to that particular data point, lots of other data points present. That means near to one particular point, density of data points are more. And one particular data point is called outlier if near to that or close to that, lesser number of data points present, right? So this is the significance of density. I hope you can intuitively understand. So the main principle or central idea of DB scan is if a particular point belongs to a cluster, it should be near to lots of other points in that cluster, which is quite obvious. A particular point is a member of one cluster. That means near to that particular point, many other data points also should be present which are belonging to same cluster, right? This is the simple idea. No higher level calculus, no higher level linear algebra, no higher level probability statistics we are using here. Simple concept. In simple way, it, it, it works brilliantly, okay? So there are two parameters. One is R, okay? Radius. Suppose you are considering one data point here. Now this data point is falling in dense region or non-dense region. Okay, how you can understand? So you have to consider the neighbors, number of neighbors present uh, near to this particular data point. Now within which region you will consider the neighbor? That you need to specify, right? So R is one of the important parameter, okay? You can take bigger R, smaller R according to your requirement. Now in this radius, how many neighbors should be present? That also you need to specify in this TV scan, okay? Suppose consider this situation here in this particular radius R, including our point of interest data point, that is this data point, there are total C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 data points present, okay? Right? So if we set R value, suppose 2, suppose this radius is 2, and the M value, suppose 5, considering our original data point, that is number of neighbors, considering original data point or point of interest, suppose we are defining as 5, that time we will consider the situation like this, okay, right, simple, and we will consider all these four data points as neighbor of this particular point. So R determines a specified radius that if it includes enough points within it, we call it a dense area, okay. That is, R is controlling the to total area within which we will consider the number of data points present using which we will conclude that whether the area is dense or non-dense, okay? M determines number of data points we want in the neighborhood to define a cluster, okay? So to conclude that this is one cluster, okay, what we need to do? We need to define how many data points we are considering, okay? Because the central idea is same. That is one particular data point, will, if it is belonging to one cluster, then it will be near to many other data points which are belonging to same cluster. Now, to consider this, we need to think about these two parameters and wisely select this, okay? Now, the whole idea behind DB scan algorithm is to visit each point and find its type first. There are actually three types of point. One is core point, another one is border point, another one is noise or outlier. Then we group points as cluster based on their types. Okay. So first thing is points, you have to specify whether that is core point or whether that is border point or whether that is outlier. Okay. Now on the Visual inspection, we can conclude this should form one cluster, this should one from one cluster, and this should form one single data point as outlier. Okay. Now let's see how DB scan works. Consider any random data point, suppose this one. Okay. And we are considering suppose R equal to 2, that is radius within which we will be considering our neighbors as 2, and M equal to 6, that is including the point of interest data point. We have to check whether at least six neighbors are present in that particular circle, within that particular circle or not, okay? 
so we are considering this particular data point within this radius see 1 2 3 4 5 and we have to consider this point also 6 so it is satisfying so if this both the conditions that is if this condition is satisfied that is within the radius if at least m number of neighbors are present including the point of interest data point then we will consider that point as code point okay a data point is a code point if within our neighborhood of the points there are at least m points it is possible that there are more number of uh, data points present in this within this circle that is possible but at least m at least six code points in this particular case including point of interest should be present that time we will consider that as code point so this is one code point right now suppose this condition is not satisfied so consider this particular point okay this yellow point this red, red point we already traversed now consider this yellow point draw a circle with radius r where r equal to 2 considering this particular data point as center you can now count total number of neighbors falling under this particular circle so 1 2 3 4 5 so see here condition is not satisfied okay so what will be this point this point will obviously not be a core point right in this time there is another point called border point and outlier as you know so what is border point what is outlier outlier we can easily understand which is highly different border point is a data point if it is reachable from some core point but its neighborhood contains less than m data point okay that is one particular data point will be considered as border point if it is reachable from some core point okay but its neighborhood contains less than m data points okay so let's try to understand this so see here consider this particular yellow point we have taken radius r drawn a circle we are getting five neighbors considering this particular point so this is not core point but this particular point is reachable from this particular rate point which is one core point that's why we will consider this particular point as border point so two conditions simultaneously should be satisfied we draw the circle considering the radius if we get total number of neighbors lesser than our defined one we will check whether that particular point is reachable to a core point or not if it is reachable and if total number of neighbors near to that particular point is less than our specification that time we will consider that as border point okay like this we can do for all like see this particular point again core point because you can understand if you draw a circle considering radius r 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 points coming which is our requirement m equal to 6 we define right so this particular point will be core point for the same reason this all these points will be border point because they are directly reachable to core point but if you draw a circle you can clearly understand the number of nearest neighbor condition will not be satisfied okay right similarly here this particular point will also be core point this particular point will also be core point and these particular boundary side points will be border points as you can understand consider this particular point draw a circle of radius r where r is 2 in this particular case you will see that six numbers are not coming at least six numbers are not coming more than six not no problem but at least six neighbors should must be there okay now you tell me what will happen in this case tell me yes so here also one particular cluster will be formed here you can consider that if you consider this particular point as our uh, point of interest you can draw a radius of two unit you will see at least six neighbors are coming right considering this particular point but this all will be considered as boundary point or border point consider this particular point what you will say about this this particular point is outlier how i am defining outlier obviously from visual inspection we can conclude but an outlier point is a point that is not core point and also is not close enough to be reachable from a core point okay so see this particular point is not a core point we can clearly understand because uh, along uh, the radius of two unit number of neighbors 
are lesser than our specification and it is not directly reachable to any code point also that's why we are considering this as outlier so three category code point border point outlier i hope it is clear so if we group if, if we just uh, classify all our data points among these three groups we will be getting like this outlier this color we have specified border points we are specifying yellow color and core points we are specifying red color which you can clearly understand okay now labeling is done right throughout the all the data points we have traversed now we have to form the cluster you just form the cluster by joining the near core points okay like this so how to uh, how to get the clusters the definition is connect core points that are neighbor and put them in same cluster so a cluster is formed as at least one core point plus all reachable core points plus all their border points okay very important try to understand see here once labeling is done consider this particular core point near to that this particular code point so we will join this near to this this particular code point we will join this near to this this particular code point we will join this and we will consider simultaneously the border points also and this is forming one single cluster okay so what the how a cluster is forming at least one code point must be there number one point number two consider all the nearest adjacent core points as well as the border points that's why it is written a cluster is formed as at least one core point plus all reachable core points okay which are neighbor to each other like this we will uh, go serially plus all the border points right as simple as that similarly here if you consider this is at least one core point and no other adjacent core point present near to that where we can go so no problem but all these are adjacent border points so we will call consider all this in this particular cluster formation and this will be one isolated point which is noise which is our outline right so this is all about db scan okay it simply saves all the clusters and find outliers as well that's why it is called density based special clustering of application with noise because it is detecting noise also and it saves all the cluster in a simple algorithm simple approach right how our human brain thinks about cluster like that only it is clustering so this is the beauty of db scan i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video thank you for watching